G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna have another little play with my puffy heart mold and I'm gonna try and recreate these. It's always a bit of a worry when you do something kind of by accident, which these were. Aren't they just adora bubble? <laughs> Adorable. So yeah, they were a bit of an accident, and but I'm gonna try and recreate them. So kind of like, they look like uh, rose petals to me, I think. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'll just put them over here on the side. I don't know if we can still see them or not. Just put them there. That's the inspiration for today. So uh, I'm going to use some different colors just so that we don't have them the same again. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have mixed up my Platinum 360 Plus. I did 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B. So I'm going to fill my little puffy hearts about, about three quarters of the way, just until the resin kind of reaches those little loops there. Because when I add the coloured resin, it's going to displace what's in there and it's going to get full, fuller. So don't overfill them at this stage. Right, now, um, so this is my little cup here. These little medicine cups here. They're just um, one fluid ounce, about 30 mils. So that's going to be my white. And I'm going to fill that about... Uh, about, uh, I don't know, third or half. We'll see how much we've got left here. These little guys here, I'm just going to divide the rest between these. I don't need a lot of colour, so they're probably only going to be about a quarter full. Because I'm only just going to be putting a few drops in each one, so I don't need a lot. So I didn't make up a lot of resin. I'll just use it all up though. So probably, yeah, about a third in that one for the white. And these ones have probably got about a quarter. Something like that. I probably don't need all of that, but anyway, there it is. Uh, where did I just drop something? Clean that up. Right. So let's get started. I'll just clean off my little stir stick there. Keep him clean. Right, oh, uh, the colours today. Now, I've given these a, a good shake. You can tell on the bottom, like it's usually like a much pale, almost white on the bottom. These are Let's Resin Opaque inks. So make sure you shake them, shake them, shake them until the colour is the same all the way along. That one is grey, and I'm going to add a few drops of the black as well. That's just um, Deco Rom. This one is dark green. I'm trying to pick dark colours because I just think that they look better against the sort of white. You tend to get like a white, well, I did with these anyway. You get a white on the outside, and then you get more of the colour on the inside of each petal. So I'm trying to go for darkish colours. See that one's still quite light on the bottom. So that one needs more shaking. Shake, shake, shake. I did shake them before I started, but I think the white settles. And yeah, I don't know if I need the white, <laughs> but that's what I did with those. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. So that one's still, I wish they had little balls in them and then they would shake up better. Anyway, that's not going to do any better than that. So uh, for the white, let's do the white first. I'm gonna do, same as I did last time, this is the cast and craft, and I'm going to do eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, that's eight drops of cast and craft. Now that is, let's see if I can actually have a little look. Mm, what does it say on there? Kind of 
can't. 10, 10 mils, 10 mils. All right, now this is the Let's Resin Sea Deeper, Synchro White. And I'm doing four drops. One, two, three, four. So that's those ones. Put those to the side. Have my stir sticks organized. That's for you. All right, now these ones. Um, what I did in my last video, and you can, oh gosh, I haven't opened these yet. Um, feel free to check it out. I'll link it. I'll link the video. Um, I did 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is the grey in the opaque. And just to darken it a bit, I'm going to add a four drops. One, two, three, four of the black. Oh gosh, look at me now. I'm making a mess. All right, so that's that one. And then the same with the dark green. I haven't used these ones before, so I just need to get a little pin. There's a little pin in the inside of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of that one. Oh, I hate the smell of inks. They smell bad. And then this is um, avocado. One, two, three, four. These are Daco Rom alcohol inks, just cheapies from Amazon. Um, now, this is the red that I couldn't mix up properly. And usually they'll come with a little sparker thing like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I think that was right. It was dropping fast. And then Ruby. One, two, three, four. And Dark Magenta. Now, when I did the purple, that one, um, the purple colour just vanished. I had to add purple alcohol ink. So we'll see what the magenta is like. No, nothing happened. Mustn't have got, oops, my nozzle's bent. Oh, my nozzle's bent. My little nail's bent. There we go. Nothing like a bent nail. One, two, oh, for, oh gosh. Uh, five, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know. It's squirted. Okay, let's do four of these. This is lavender. One, two, three, four. Right, so that's our colours mixed up. All right. Um, now, let me just give them all a, a stir. Oh, that looks pretty. So I'm hoping to get, you know, the red and the white outside so hopefully that will look like a rose I might just use the sticks today rather than use this because it was a bit of a pain last time I had to keep cleaning it in between each color let me just see how we go with maybe I'll try I'll try to drop it with the sticks if it doesn't work I'll use the silicone stick but it, sh it should work I can see some little bubbles accumulating in the center there so yeah the um those ones that i did the other day the darker colors did look nicer against the white and i just thought it would be nice to try some different colors for a change I need to get another stick for my white Right, so now it's a little bit time consuming, so like dropping all the colours. The, these are kind of like peat trees. You know how you drop your coloured ink and then your white and then your coloured ink and then your white and then your coloured ink and then your white. It's it's similar to that, okay? But um and it's also similar to the flower that I was doing oh, I don't know, a year or so ago. More similar to that, so it's because with that one you mixed your colour into your resin, 
when you're doing the pea tree, you're not dropping, you're not mixing your color into the resin. You're just dropping ink straight onto your resin. So this is a bit different. You're dropping color into your resin, and then you're putting that into your clear resin. So before I get started, I just need to encourage that resin to go in there like so, just so that when I do start dropping my colors, it will flow in. Hopefully I've made them full enough, but not too full. There we go, I think that's gone in now. Overflowed a little bit, clean up. Right, so that's that's that. All right, you guys, now let me move these out of the way. I haven't got my painting scrubs on because I've got someone coming to look at a puppy shortly. They said they were going to be here at between one and two, and then they messaged me to say, oh, we're not going to be there till three. And I thought, oh, gosh, now I've got an hour to kill. I'll just quickly make a video. Right, so let's get started, shall we? Make sure there's no bubbles. So the first thing we need to do is just drop some white in. So I'm going to just do that, and then hopefully what's on the top of the stick will drop down like so yep that seems to be working and then I don't have to wipe off my silicone stick between each color because the color is in the cup hey how clever is that up here for thinking mate down there for dancing all right here we go now this is this is why I said it's going to take a little while. Oh, do I want to put another one there? Yeah, why not? Right up the top. And there's a bit of a gap there, so I'll put one there. All right, so that's that one done. Now, well, let's choose. Let's go the grey first. So now that that's done. Put, do the same thing but with our grey. It's going to go on top. Try and get it in the middle. That way you get your white on the outside of your little petals and then your colour on the inside. So just try that if you can. Take your time. Try and get it into the centre. I'm supporting my hand. I'm just putting it onto the mould like that just so that I can support that little stick there hope it works I had to look back on my video and write down exactly what I did that's why I started the videos so that I could actually you know see what I, I had done that was the reason I actually started doing videos okay so that's that done and then we're going to go again with the white. And again, drop it into the center. The little drops do spread, so try not to put too much in there. How much have I got? One, two, three, four. Let's count them. That's four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so there's thirteen. So I think if you do sort of around about, you know. 12, 13 ish, 14, something like that, you should be okay. Probably wouldn't put any more in. And then um, I think probably 14 will be the, the most for this particular mold. Now we're going again with the grey on top. So we're pushing the colours down, mixing them up a little bit. This uh, little puffy heart mold is in my eBay store if you want it. And you get a really 
cute design because it's quite deeper in the center of the mold um, compared to the outside of the mold so you get a, a really cool 3d look it's really shiny and of course you've got your built-in loop there already so the resin's going up the sides there see I didn't use all that so you probably didn't even need all that but how much was that I can't even see now I'll try and I've used this before <laughs> No, I can't really see. I've used my little cups before. I just I wipe them out and reuse them. Okay, so that's that one. Um, I'll give it a, a little quick torch, just a quick torch. Now I'm going to put you on fast forward and I'll do the others and then I'll come back to you. done except for the green as you saw probably saw I ran out of um, white so I am going to just add put the rest of that in there I'm gonna add a little bit of cast and craft to this one two three four five six <laughs> all right just um to see actually I probably should have taken a little bit of the green out I wonder if I can get some of that green out before I mm, I'm starting to mix it already gosh ah! okay oh it doesn't matter let's just mix it let's just mix it it's um it's just going to be a little bit different because I ran out so I'll make a note in my little notebook that I really need probably 30 mils of resin for my white and I probably only need about 10 for each color so should hopefully it'll still work But we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what happens, hey? It's still going to be heavy because it's got the white in it. So it should push the other colours down. So basically what we need to do now is just wait a little while until you can see that these drops have started dropping and kind of elongating and perhaps even touching the bottom of the mold radio so I'll just give them a quick little torch and clean up my mess and I'll wait probably 10 minutes or so and just to see if they've dropped so I'll be back then so you know how I said I was going to do exactly the same as I did with these guys well when I looked back the purple was the only one that I added the extra alcohol ink to because the color didn't show up. But the blue, yellow, and pink, I didn't add any extra alcohol ink. I just used the opaques. So these ones 
look different. They've spread more and when I look down the side, not that I can see very well, but they haven't really sunk and I think it's because I've added extra alcohol ink which makes it lighter. Um, so I don't think it's going to work the same. <laughs> I, I tried, I put a few drops of white sinker on the top but it's just sitting there, just on that one, just to see if it would help to push it down but it's just sort of sitting on top so I don't think it's working the same way um, yeah because I added extra alcohol ink but see this one worked with the extra alcohol ink so look I don't know I'll, I'll go back and watch my video again maybe I made my drops bigger I did use my silicone stick and drop them on maybe I had bigger drops I'll go back watch the video and, and count them and see how many drops I actually did because yeah so anyway that's I did change it I added extra alcohol ink so I don't think it's going to work the same but let's swirl them anyway and uh, we'll see what happens hey so I'm going to start on the outside and go a little bit deeper as we get into the middle because it's the middle is much deeper than the outside is but yeah they do look very different at this stage to what they looked like when I did them last time they've certainly spread much more rather than dropping they've spread and that's I'd say that's because of the alcohol ink because it makes them more lightweight so they do spread rather than sink but hey it just means I get to do this again and we go done um, and yeah you know we learn <laughs> we learn each time so uh, I, I have no idea what they're gonna look like so um, yeah last little bit of heat on those just to pop some bubbles I've cleaned out all my cups ready to go for next time because there will be a next time but I will see you guys uh, later. I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow now and um, just cleaning up my mess and we'll unmold and see what they look like but yeah I don't think I'm going to get this again <laughs> hopefully I can recreate this at some stage but at least I did the video on that one <laughs> all right I'll see you tomorrow Righto guys, it is unmolding time. So let's have a little look, hey? Get these out. Now I'm not expecting them to be the same as those other ones because I did change up my recipe a little bit. I should just leave it alone, hey? If it works, leave it alone. But um, I did change it a little bit, so it's probably going to be a little bit different. But that's okay. It's how we learn. Hey, all right. Shall we have a little look? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, it's really pretty. But yeah, it's got a lot more white in it, hasn't it? It's still really pretty, though. Look at that. So pretty. I like how it's got a little bit of white in the top there. I hope you can see okay I can't really see what you're seeing <laughs> all right so that's the green one and the purple one oh nice so the the sides haven't got as much definition um, the tops got more definition but the sides haven't got maybe I just put too much in like I said it's just I did it differently this time <laughs> oh well it doesn't matter they're still really cute. Now this was the one that I didn't think was going to work at all. Here we go. Oh, it's kind of greyish, isn't it? A lot more grey than it is on the, the back there. I still really like them. Not as much as the first lot, but I still really like them. Let me show you the sides. Okay, and the red one. There it is. Oh, that one's really pretty too. That one's got a little bit more definition on the sides. 
Look at that. We've got a little bit of clear in the top there. Oh, they're really pretty. All right, well, I will definitely do these again because these are so much fun to do. And uh, yeah, you get a different look each time, hey, depending on what you change. <laughs> Okay, that's really pretty. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. And um, I'll go back and watch my first video and write down exactly what I did so that I can get the same results again. Because if you change something, you do get a different look. But these are still really pretty. All right, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.